Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session, we will be exploring about the IOR informatics. We will mostly focusing about its importance and its advantages, along with the skills required to enter IOR informatics and herbal informatics. Additionally, I will also be providing you a roadmap to enter IOR informatics and few of the bioinformatics databases and resources that could be utilized for IOR so let's get started and explore this fascinating area. Before starting the session, I would like the new viewer to like and subscribe the channel. And if any one of you who are having any doubt related to this subject area can approach us and comment us. So let's first understand what is IOR Informatics. It's a subsection of Herbal Informatics. IOR Informatics is the application of informatics techniques, data analytics and computational method to the field of Ayurveda, integrating the traditional knowledge with the modern technology to enhance the understanding, research and application of Ayurvedic principle. IOR Informatics is a multidisciplinary field that leverages computational and data science approaches to organize, analyze and interpret the diverse data sets related to Ayurveda. It involves the integration of traditional Ayurvedic knowledge with the advanced informatics tool to facilitate research, discovery and personalize healthcare based on Ayurvedic principles and theories. As we know, IOR Informatics combines Ayurveda the ancient Indian system of medicine with the modern computational method and resources of bioinformatics and cheminformatics to unlock the potential of traditional wisdom in the healthcare. It involves the analysis of Ayurvedic texts, data and formulation of databases, development of predictive models and the creation of informatics tools to bridge the gap between traditional practices and contemporary scientific methods. By integrating Ayurvedic knowledge with informatics, researchers and data scientists can gain deeper insight into holistic approach of Ayurveda, leading to the innovative solution for healthcare challenges. So here are the few importance of Ayur informatics in the current time. The number one is preserving the traditional knowledge. Ayur informatics helps in digitizing and preserving the ancient Ayurvedic texts and the knowledge preventing their loss and making them accessible for the future generation. The second one is enhancing the research efficiency. Integrating informatics accelerate the research in Ayurveda by facilitating data-driven insight, allowing researchers to explore relationship among various factors and phenomena. It also supports personalized healthcare. Ayur Informatics supports the development of personalized Ayurvedic healthcare approaches by analyzing the individual patient data and tailoring the treatment based on their unique characteristics. Moreover, it also plays significant role in drug discovery and development. As most of our audience are from India, most of us has personally seen the advantage and benefits of Ayurveda Maybe it's neem, tulsi, aloe vera, vitaferin, you name it and you must have noticed the significance and benefits of these plants and the phytochemicals derived from them. So here, the application of informatics tools in Ayurveda aids in the identification and development of new herbal formulation, potentially leading to the discovery of novel therapeutic agents. It also supports the global collaboration. Ayur Informatics enables global collaboration by providing a platform for researcher and data scientist and bioinformatician to share and exchange Ayurvedic knowledge, fostering the cross-cultural learning and understanding. Here are some of the advantages of Ayur Informatics. The number one is data standardization. It ensures the uniformity and consistency in the Ayurvedic data facilitating the interoperability and seamless exchange of information and analysis. The next one is the predictive modeling, which enables the development of predictive model for disease outcome and treatment responses based on Ayurvedic principles and information. The next one is integration of omics data. Here, the integration of data from genomics, proteomics, epigenomics and metabolomics can be utilized as a holistic understanding of Ayurvedic concepts and their impact on the individual health. The next one is real-time monitoring. Facilitating the real-time monitoring of patient health 
allowing for timely adjustment in the treatment plan based on Ayurvedic diagnostic and treatment. The next one is decision support system. Ayurinformatics also assists in developing intelligent system to assist Ayurvedic practitioner in making informed decision regarding patient care and treatment strategies. It could also be utilized in public health applications where it can support public health initiative by providing insight into the preventive Ayurvedic practices and lifestyle recommendation. Moreover, it also plays significant role in quality control in herbal products. Thus, implement informatics tool for quality control and standardization of herbal products, ensuring the safety and efficacy. The next one is Anthopharmacological Studies where it enables systematic analysis of anthopharmacological data to understand the medicinal properties of plants in Ayurveda. Moreover, it also enhances the Ayurvedic education by providing interactive and technology-driven learning tools for students, scientists and practitioners. And lastly, the patient empowerment. Ayurinformatics also empowers patients by providing access to personalized Ayurvedic information promoting the active participation in their healthcare journey. So if you are fascinated with the Ayurinformatics, let's see what are the skills required to enter such industry. The first thing is profound understanding in Ayurvedic principles, practices along with the plant-based subjects are required. The next one is bioinformatics. Skills in bioinformatics tools and techniques for data analysis will also be required here. The next one is data sciences. We must have expertise in handling and interpreting large data sets. It is good if we also know programming, proficiency in programming languages such as Python and R. We at Molexer Informatics also provide training in Python and R, which is specially designed for the beginner biologist, researcher and student. So any one of you who are interested in learning programming at the foundation level can approach us. The next skill is database management. Knowledge of the database system for efficient data storage and retrieval is also must. It is good practice that we must have understanding in the domain of AI and machine learning. Thus, we can utilize the application of machine learning algorithm in Ayurvedic data analysis and predictions. The next one is domain-specific informatics. Familiarity with the informatics tool tailored for the Ayurvedic data are required. Along with that, the communication skills, effective communication to bridge the gap between Ayurvedic practitioner and the technologies in the R&D and industry sectors are required. Along with these, the ethic and compliance, awareness of ethical consideration and regulatory compliance in healthcare informatics is also required. And lastly, the continuous learning, adaptability and a commitment to staying updated with evolving technologies and Ayurvedic research is must. So here is a simple roadmap to enter Ayurveda informatics. Make sure you have a foundation in Ayurvedic knowledge. Acquire a strong foundation in Ayurvedic principle through formal education or self-study. The next one is basic bioinformatics and informatics training. Gain a proficiency in basic informatics and data science skills. Along with that, get an advanced informatics education, such as pursue advanced education in bioinformatics, machine learning, AI, and domain-specific informatics. Try to gain practical experience. Engage in a hands-on project or internship to apply theoretical knowledge in real-world scenario. We also provide training in IR informatics and herbal informatics both at the training and project level. So any one of you who are interested in doing dissertation and internship in such areas can also approach us. Along with these, it is also must to get a network building. Try to establish connection with the higher informatics practitioner, researcher, scientist and informatics professional. The next one is specialization. Consider specializing in specific area of higher informatics such as drug discovery, personalized medicine or data analytics etc. Make sure you are staying updated. Keep updated with the advancement in Ayurveda, informatics and related field through the continuous learning. If possible, get some certification. Obtain a relevant authenticate certification to validate your skills and enhance the credibility. Try to contribute to research. 
contribute to the Ayurvedic research project to build a portfolio and gain recognition in this given field. Lastly, attend the conferences and workshops. Participate in international and national conferences and workshops so that you stay connected with the latest trends and network with the professional in the IR informatics. So let's see what are the bioinformatic databases and tools and how you can utilize them in IO informatics. You start exploring the databases which are related to Ayurveda in terms of its text and translation. Along with that, herbal informatics or plant-based data can be explored for, for the initial data mining and project designing. You can also try to explore phytochemical databases. For understanding the functionality, summary, structure, pharmacokinetics and dynamics related to natural phytochemicals. You can try PubChem, DrugBank, Campbell etc. You can also explore genomic databases so that you can integrate genomics with the Ayurvedic principles. There are several chem informatics tools that also can be utilized such as ChemDraw for drawing and analysis of phytochemical structures. Proteomics tools can also be utilized like XPC. These proteomics tools can be utilized for analysis and visualization of proteomic data driven from the Ayurvedic plant source. The next one is metabolomic databases. These metabolic databases can be utilized to explore the metabolite characterization of Ayurvedic plant source. The next one is data integration tools. You can utilize multiple open source data analytic platforms. Along with that, text mining tools for extracting the relationship from the biomedical literature. At the advanced level, you can also explore and utilize AI and machine learning libraries. And you can also utilize R for data visualization and tools for creating interactive graphs, tables and, and dashboards. For drug designing purpose, you can also utilize structural biology based platforms like molecular dockings, Pyrex, etc. I hope you have liked the session. Join our IUR Informatics and Herbal Informatics courses. If you are interested, you can enroll in our comprehensive course to gain expertise in IR informatics and Harbor informatics course and trainings. Do subscribe to our channel for regular updates and feel free to ask any questions related to IR informatics in the comment section. And kindly help us to spread the awareness by sharing these videos with your colleagues, students, researchers and scientists and anyone who are interested in conversions of Ayurveda with the current global informatics. Remember, Ayur Informatics holds immense potential to revolutionize the healthcare industry by in integrating the ancient Indian Ayurvedic wisdom with the modern technology. Join us in exploring the future of Ayurveda through informatics. Stay tuned and stay updated. Thank you.